The Betfred International Stakes is next, and this is a Class 3 handicap 0 to 90 for three odds and upwards. Over seven furlongs and strive for power for Satyams at the top. Prince of the Dark, Joshua Sutherland, Jaya Absent, David Robertson, Targaryen, Dan Hughes, Melting Odyssey, James Shane, Dane Far, Dane Fair Bayside for Thomas Rogers, Van Helsing, Pandrake Hogan, Tavanas House, Stu Gray, Exceptionally Nice Satyam, Donut Kevin Meanahan, Man M Raider, M McMilk, Strong Action, Obi Wan, Suze Moda, Alex Cherry, Supren Shen, Martin Leland, Bahrain Billy, Stu Gray, Melodious Obi Wan, and Trippy Edition, Ben Bonici. Oh, 17 then. We're on the straight course, I think. And away we go. And Supreme Shin nearest to us in the purple and white, but it's Melting Odyssey that's gone on into the lead from the Obi Wan pair. Strong action and exceptionally nice. And right over on the far side, it's, it's, well, it's exceptionally nice right over on the far side. The Obi Wan pair are strong action and melodious down on this near side, all in different shades of yellow. But right over on the far side, exceptionally nice, might just be in the lead from Strong Action and Melodious. Then comes the Grey Gyre Absent with Trippy Edition up the centre of the track being chased by Donut. Then comes Prince of the Dark down on this near side, Supreme Shin on the outside as well with Tavana House also making a forward move, looking towards the back. Sue's motor been taken off its feet at the minute as they race down towards the midway point in the race. And it's exceptionally nice in the lead then by probably about two or three lengths. Angles deceptive though. Melodious and Strong Action. Then that melting odyssey and Tavana's house trippy addition up the centre of the track with Donut Gyre Absent striding into it so too is Supreme Shin Targay and the grey is running on really well over on the far side but it's still exceptionally nice who's got the lead by probably only a head to melting odyssey in second then comes strong action Tavana's house is now looking really dangerous in third so too is Gyre Absent strong action Donut trying to come through Tosu Supreme Shin then inside the final half furlong then now suddenly the leader hits the wall and right over on the far side Donut swoops and it's Donut Donut that's going to take it. Donut wins it. Probably the worst named horse in the race, but turns out to be the best. And wins it from a whole host of others chasing. And did Donut run rings round all of them? Dane Fair Bayside was second, but Kevin Meenan back in the league. And it looks like he's got some pretty decent sorts as well. That's probably the worst name one of a lot of them. He's got some good horses with some good names with some good old horses from years ago. But I don't remember there being a top class horse called Donut. But if there was, somebody will have to remind me about it. But there it is, Donut's taking it for Kevin Meenan. Dane Fair Bayside for Thomas Rogers was second. Man M Raider for M McMill was third. Tavana's House for a good race as well for Stu Gray in fourth. And Strive for Power for Satyam. Last fifth.